Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hi, my name is Angela, and on this channel, we talk everything fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So if that's content that you like to watch, hit the subscribe button and join the family. I would love that. And also don't forget to turn on the bell notifications so you won't miss out on any of my new videos. In today's video, we're talking about one of my favorite designer brands, Louis Vuitton. And in today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys five handbags that I recommend you purchasing first from Louis Vuitton. So if you're ready, grab a snack, a drink, and let's jump right into the video. The first bag that I wanna show you guys is my all-time favorite Louis Vuitton bag, and it is the Alma BB. I got this in the monogram canvas in the My World Tour edition. Now, if you've been watching my videos, you know that this is my favorite bag. I have like a mini playlist of what's in my bag, a two-year full review, and this is just my favorite, favorite Louis Vuitton bag. I love the Almas. I think they're so classy. You can really wear them from any occasion. You can dress them up, dress them down. I love the top handle. I personally wear this purse a lot top handle, but it does come with a straight Strap. So usually for nighttime, I would use the top handle and it's just like a cute mini purse. But then if I want to go out shopping for today, I will use my strap and I will use it crossbody. I feel like the Alma is a classic Louis Vuitton design. It comes in, I think, three different sizes. This is the smallest one. I do think it's perfect for an everyday bag, an evening bag, and a travel bag. Whenever I'm traveling, this is the purse that I tend to bring with me. So it does have two zippers. And because this is the My World Tour edition, it has red lining and I just think it's super cute. The red lining usually actually comes with the Damier Eben and also for the regular monogram canvas it usually doesn't come in black leather but it comes with a white fascetta leather. If you're looking to buy your first Louis Vuitton bag I highly recommend the Alma BB. Next up we have a set and it is the Kirigami pochette. Now I don't know why but I feel like this pochette in particular is not even that popular popular and I really don't understand why because you get three items so this comes in a set as I said and the first one is the biggest one it has a pale pink lining and I usually use this as a night purse so if I'm going to either a very nice dinner or a wedding or if I'm looking for a clutch I'm always looking for my kirigami pochette in the large size now the medium size is this one and it has red lining this one I usually use for my makeup so it does does fit a bunch of lipsticks, a small compact mirror, compact perfume. It does fit a lot, but you could also use this as a big wallet and it also fits your passport. Now the smallest of all three, I usually use as a card holder. That's why I think it's like so amazing because you have like a clutch, you have a makeup bag, and then this you can just use as your wallet. And I have used this as my wallet for the longest time. It really does fit a lot of cards. You could even put maybe like the traditional lipsticks in here, your AirPods or any miscellaneous items. And I'm just so in love with the Kirigami pochette because you get the most bang for your buck. You basically get three items for one price. And usually a card holder at Louis Vuitton itself is already like a couple hundred bucks. I feel like this is such a steal from Louis Vuitton and I honestly don't understand why this isn't more popular or why it's not so much more expensive. So if you're new to Louis Vuitton or you're looking for something new to add to your collection, I highly recommend the Kirigami pochette. Next up is a bag that I don't currently have with me, but it is in Europe with my mom and it is the Speedy Bandelier. Guys, this is the most iconic and I think most popular handbag from Louis Vuitton. You have probably seen it everywhere, but it is a staple and it will never go out of style. I personally would recommend the size 25 because I think it's great for an everyday bag, but it's not too big and bulky. The Speedy does come without a strap, but I highly recommend the Bandelier because you do have that strap option for a crossbody or a shoulder bag. I love that it also has a top handle and this purse fits so, so much. Now the speedy bags are definitely more an everyday daily bag. I personally wouldn't really wear it for nighttime, but I think if you would pick, um, I think there's the mini or like the 20 size and that one is really small. So that would still kind of work. So the speedy comes in many different canvas prints and also genuine leather. But for it 
its price point and quality, I would recommend the Damier Eben. Even though Monogram Canvas is my favorite print from Louis Vuitton, but it's just the white fascetta. I just, I can't do it. I feel like I do love the look of the patina over time, but I feel like I would just have to baby that back. I could not wear it out in the rain. And I honestly just prefer to be carefree. I am actually eyeing to get the My Wool Tour version of the Speedy B. So that is the same as my Alma BB. You can pick the monogram canvas with the black trim. But if you don't want to spend that extra money, I recommend the Speedy B 25 in Damier Eben. The next bag that I recommend, I do not have in my collection, but I would love to have it at some point, and it is the Neverfull in the GM size. Now, why am I saying the GM size? It is the bigger size, but I feel like if you're looking for an everyday tote that literally fits everything and could also be a work bag, it is the GM size. The Neverfull is also an iconic bag by Louis Vuitton. I love it so much, even though you do see it everywhere, but it just works and people keep buying them year after year after year. Now again, I would personally recommend Damier Eben because it's carefree, but if somehow they would make the Neverville GM in the My World Tour edition, I would go for it just because I can have the monogram canvas, but with the black trim. So they do make it in the MM size, I believe. That is the medium size, but I feel like it's kind of an awkward size because it's a tote bag, but it's not that big. So I'm not really into that. I just prefer my totes to be huge. If not, I would just go for for a medium sized bag. But if you're just starting out your Louis Vuitton collection, I would highly recommend the Neverfull GM in Dummy Eben. Now, last but not least is the Papillon trunk bag. I am obsessed with this bag, you guys. This bag is on top of my wish list for Louis Vuitton bags, and I think it's so adorable. So first I was kind of looking into the Petite Mal, but then I don't like the red kind of detail in front of the bag. So it's definitely the Papillon bag for me. I love the thick strap. I love that it also has a chain. You can wear a cross body, shoulder bag, or even as a clutch with just the chain. I think it's beautiful. It's so cute. I feel like it's definitely a different shape, but that's why I think it's so special. And that's why I'm recommending this bag if you are looking to expand your collection or even start your collection, but you want something different, but still classic Louis Vuitton. Because for you guys who don't know, Louis Vuitton actually started with suitcases, luggage, baggage, whatever you want to call it. So this trunk design is just amazing. And I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube here of people showing what fits in the bag and surprisingly, it fits so much. It is a smaller bag, but it's not a mini bag. You can fit a full Pro Max iPhone, a full size wallet, your makeup. So it does really hold all your essentials. And it is just such a unique, but still classic look. I will be traveling to Paris very soon. So I'm hoping to pick up this beautiful bag, but I highly recommend it if you are looking for a special bag from Louis Vuitton, Papillon trunk bag, 10 out of 10. All right, guys. That is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below which is your favorite Louis Vuitton bag or which bag you are looking to get from them. I would love to start a conversation with you guys. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!